so let's start with next lecture about data compression. Today we are going to study about the dictionary based technique that is LZ78. So uh, we have already seen the LZ77 compression technique and today we are going to learn LZ78. The LZ7 is it's also going to use the same concept of dictionary. Uh, let's see how we encode and decode in the LZ78. We are going to learn it with the help of an example so that it becomes very clear to us, right? In dictionary, we have substrings which are stored in the trial, right? And each one has an ID, right? We can also call it as index. This particular can also be called as index. So in the dictionary, we have two things. In the dictionary, we have two things. That is, one is the index and the other one is the entry. One is the index and another one is the entry. So this is what we have to see. Now, how we are going to uh, do the coding is we have to find the longest match S in the dictionary. This we were doing earlier also, we were finding out the longest match of the string, right? Output its ID, that is outputs its index and the next character C after the match in the input string. Add the substring SC to the dictionary. That is how we are going to use the coding. Now, I think you must not have got the clear picture how we are going to do it. Let's do it with the help of an example. See, we have taken an example. In this example, what we need to do is we need to encode this particular string with the help of LZ78. So we have already seen we have a dictionary. In this dictionary, we have two things. One is called as the index and the other one is called as the entry. You have to maintain this dictionary right? And how you get the output? You get the output with the, as the, this offset and the next symbol, right? Next character. Now, let's see, the first thing is you are going to find this particular symbol. First symbol is being encountered. Here, we do not have any sliding window. We do not have any window. We are just using the dictionary and getting the output. We are storing these particular symbol with the index and an entry. So first symbol A is there. So this is first time. So nothing is there. No position is there. So zero A. Now I'm going to store this particular A in the dictionary with the index as one. So at the first position, A is being stored. Right now, this is already being encountered. Same A. Again, let's see here. We have encountered A now. Now A is again being encountered, right? And we will see next symbol. If we see a match, then we encounter the next symbol as we were doing in the LZ77. So A is being encountered and this is being matched as AA. So I'll encounter one more alphabet, AB. Now AB is being, AB is being encountered. So at the position two, I'm going to use AB because I am not going to enter A. Why? Because A is already in the entry of dictionary. So I'm going to enter two as AB, right? At the position two, I'm going to enter AB. Now, I'm going to write here the position of A. That is, A is there, which has already been in the dictionary. So I'm going to write the position of A, that is one and B. So that is being defined as the output. Now again, moving further, we have reached till here, A, A, B, till A, A, B we have encountered. Now again, A is there. We have, we already have A in the dictionary. So I'm not going to add it again. Now we have again move further AA. Now AA is not there, we can see, right? So at the third position, I'm going to enter the AA, right? And how I'm going to give the output? Output will be, see, A is already in the dictionary as entry position one. So I have given entry position one and then next character A. So next character A, right? Now again, we have done till here. 
right? We are done till here. Now we encounter what C. Now C is the one which has not been, uh, you know, which has not been entered till now. So at fourth position, I'll enter C. Now you can see there is no matching symbol, no strings being matched before C, only C is there. So this is being no match. So no means zero. How many alphabets being matched? None of them is being matched, so zero. So zero, C is the output. Now I have reached till here. Now I encounter A. This is A. A is already in the dictionary at first position. Now I encounter AB. AB is also there in the dictionary at second position. Then we have ABC. Now you just see ABC is the new one. So I'll write ABC at the fifth position. You can also see that AB is already being defined at the position where second. So I'll write two because it will be ABC. So two, two means AB and then C. This is the output. Reached till here. Now move further. A already is there in the dictionary. B, yes, AB is there in the dictionary. ABC, yes, ABC is also there in the dictionary. So ABCD is the new one. So six, we are going to enter ABCD. Now how to work on with this output, how to give the output. You can see where is ABC stored? ABC is stored at fifth position. So five and D. Sorry, this is B, B, okay. So this is what we are going to do in encoding. Now let's see how we are going to decode the LZ78 tech thing. Now in this, we are already being given with the output and the dictionary as we have seen in the LZ77. Now, how we are going to decode the codes that are given and use the dictionary. So output is also there and the dictionary is also there. Now to find the output, when you see zero and A and A, so what you have, you have A here. So first thing is zero, A, there is no match before. A is the first symbol that you can see. So A, you are going to enter in the window. Now, next thing is one B. So one, you are going to find out whether one is which entry in the dictionary. In the dictionary, you can see that one at the position one, A is there, right? So what I'm going to write, A is already there, right? And then I'm going to enter A and then next character as B. So B, this, this is one and this is B. So at first position, A is there and then B is there. Now I have entered till here. Now next output is the one A again. So let's see one means again A, one means again A, and then again next character is A. So A is right here. So I have done till here now. Now you can see you have zero C. So zero C means no other matches there. We are not going to see any dictionary, zero entry is not there. So I'm just going to enter the character C. So I've entered the character C. So now next step done till here, 2C. 2C means what? I'm going to find out in the dictionary, which is the entry done in two. So in two, we have AB. So I'm going to write A and B, right? Because the, at the position two, we have AB. And then we have next character as C. Now C, right? So done till here. Now I can see five B. I'm going to search at the fifth position what is stored. At the fifth position it is A, B, C. So I'm going to write A, B, and then C. And lastly, B is there, next character. So I'm going to write B. So this is how we are going to do the decoding in the LZ78, which is very simple process. So I hope you must have understood the LZ78 decoding procedure and the encoding procedure, and you will be able to do it on your own. Thank you very much.